stroke is the leading cause of disability worldwide and the second highest cause of death in the world. According to the global fact sheet released in 2022, the lifetime risk of stroke has increased by 50% in the last 17 years. According to that fact sheet, now one in every four people are estimated to have stroke in their lifetime. The re concept of rehabilitation in stroke was much lesser known and very few people used to get that done. Maybe a physiotherapist coming to people's home and that gets you power probably in the limbs but going inside the home may not take you to your best result possible. And without having a multidisciplinary team and the equipments which are available now, you would not hit your best results or the maximum potential which you could. This would lead to avoidable disabilities in the country for so many people, right? And, and that uh, is, you know, that's a loss of productive life for so many people or quality, quality assisted life years uh, which gets impacted because of this. Hence, we started the rehabilitation program in HCAH. So besides the multidisciplinary team, there are a lot of gadgets or uh, equipments which we use to improve the condition of the patient. Starting from tilt tables, where a patient when he is, you know, not so conscious is uh, strapped on and slowly the weight bearing is increased so that the patient takes a little bit sense on the weight itself. Moving on, we have uh, gravity eliminated benches which help people move their limbs and then we have, uh, you know, uh, harness based, uh, harness based treadmills which help progressively, you know, weight bearing capacity of the patient. We have fine motor movement uh, uh, scales available or, or weights available so that you can move the fingers or put weight on the fingers and fine motor. We also have balance labs which are gamified. Then we have occupational therapy labs which have activities of daily life. So while you will get strength in your limbs, you also have to get equipped to let's say buttoning your shirt using the washroom cutting vegetables, etc. And that's what we train so that the patient is equipped to do his activities of daily life as he comes back to his home. We've also designed a new approach to rehabilitation, what we call as milestone-based recovery. In that, what we are able to project for the patient is how much time he will reach to particular milestones. And typically, our success rate of reaching that is upwards of 90%. So the patient knows at what time he could walk with support, at what time he could start walking without support, and so on. This is something which is very unique, and uh, we have, you know, we have been able to do a lot of successful things using this methodology. Mm -hmm.